To my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crashing in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah, I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know Stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy oh man, there it is It's on Dean Ambrose looking as maniacal as ever here tonight Yeah, I'm glad that's not me in there with him, that's for sure Oh, there's all kinds of tables out here But this isn't gonna be a picnic, Michael Somebody could get hurt badly Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they could keep it in the ring. You had to think at some point this would happen. At some point, Ambrose would weaken. There's not much Finn Balor can't do in that ring. From high flying to quick kicks to submission wrestling. Let's face it, this kid can do it all. This is undoubtedly the chance of a lifetime for Dean Ambrose. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out a lot here tonight. Head to head, no excuses. Let's get it on. He wasted too much time on that one. Looking to be in great shape here. It doesn't appear as though any damage has been done. Ow! Ooh. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Well, King did it again. As you mentioned earlier, there's not much that Finn Balor can't do in the ring. And you'd have to think that comes from years of traveling the globe, learning different styles and different ways to beat your opponent. What is he, 100 years old? He's absorbed all those different styles and molded them into his own unique style. There really is nobody else quite like Finn Balor. The kid's going far in this business. Finn Balor smells blood, folks. No pinfalls, no disqualifications, no submissions. There's only one way to win this match, and that's to put your opponent through a table. Yeah, and while the concept seems simple, I assure you it's not as easy as it sounds. I can't believe this is still going on. This has reached the point of savagery, and there's not a doctor or EMT in sight. It's no surprise that someone the likes of Dean Ambrose would utilize a lethal maneuver like his dirty deeds finisher. Oh, it's awesome. Seeing attacks to the back of the head reminds me how thankful I am to be sitting right here. Yeah, I wish I were as thankful. His chest may be black and blue after this. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Today, too fast. A reversal from Ambrose. Oh, that was slick. Michael, you mentioned Dean Ambrose and his dirty deeds finisher. It looks like a descendant of the DDT. When Ambrose nails an opponent with that, you can hear everyone in the arena gasp at the same time. That moves annihilating. Without question, there's no doubt about how prestigious the Intercontinental Championship is here in the WWE. You're right about that, Cole. It's one of the most prestigious titles in WWE history. I mean, it dates all the way back to the incomparable Pat Patterson. And right here today, these guys are going to go all out to try to become the Intercontinental Champion. Oh! Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. 
the match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. When you think of the time Dean Ambrose took to create his offensive armory, if you will, the Dirty Deeds is a finisher that reflects Ambrose in-ring offensive philosophy. Fast, lethal, and out of nowhere. Oh, Cole, you name them, and there's a really good chance they felt the force of the Dirty Deeds finishing move, courtesy of Dean Ambrose. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. It was in this very city of Memphis, Tennessee, that Big Show made his WWE debut back in February 1999. That's a shot. What do you think about that strategy? Obliviate your opponent and put yourself on the path to victory. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. Finn Balor is just so graceful in the ring, particularly his basement dropkick in the corner. The way that he floats through the air prior to impact, man, it's a thing of beauty. Well, we're on the move here. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. Once the bat goes, it's nearly impossible to stand, let alone deliver any offense. I like the way you described Finn Balor earlier, King. Really? Graceful. It's yeah. so true, and it's amazing how he could be both graceful and impactful at the same time. His Pele kick comes to mind when thinking of moves that are both graceful and impactful. Oh, well, for sure, as well as his variety of DDTs. It's like he was born to be a WWE superstar. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Wow. He's still down after that. Championship on the line. Oh, you're right about that. Let's get this thing going. Who's going to be the champion? Here we go. Back inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still outside the ring, Cole. It's them. They're inside the ring. And here he comes. You can never count Dean Ambrose out. We know he's a lunatic fringe. We know there's no questioning his desire and ability to fight. But what we'll find out in due time is can his stamina stand the test of time in this one? Now that's the question. Oh, I'm not sure I can watch this. There's a punch worthy of the greatest heavyweights of the time. Yeah, that looked like a Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali shot. The head just bounced there. Whoa. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Caught in the face with a knee there. Wow. That had to hurt. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Whoa! Don't get up! The end may be near. That's it. He's done. There's the finishing move. Don't know if you have anything left after that. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor.
Remember, the Intercontinental Championship's on the line. And that's what makes this match so important. These guys are willing to tear each other apart for this title. Finn Balor sensing the chance here. Haktung, that's a German suplex call. Are you from Berlin now? Yes. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Dean Ambrose is in trouble here, but you still have to be careful. Having come to the dojos in Japan. That match was incredible. Here's your winner and still the Intercontinental Champion, Finn Balor. Could have gone either way there for a while. I don't make the matches, but...